Good evening. It is Wednesday, September 15, 2010. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick tropical update here. I'm really short on time. Um, today our main focus is the triple threat out in the Atlantic. As you know, that's Igor, Carl, and Julia. First of all, let's take a look at Igor. It has a 135 mile an hour wind. This is at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is still moving west-northwest at 8 miles an hour. The pressure is, uh, has gone up to 942 millibars, slowly weakening. I think it'll still be a Category 3 when it hits uh, the Bermuda area. Let's look at the satellite for it. It is a monster of a storm. It is absolutely huge. If I took that and stuck it in the Gulf, it would be as big as the Gulf. It's a really small circulation, but it's going undergoing a little bit of shear at the moment, so it's... Uh, the eye's not really that well organized. Let's look at the projected path for Igor. Igor's projected path, I think it will go up and probably just a little bit to the west of Bermuda and then go on out. The things that are steering this, here is the high pressure. And as you know, it goes around like that. The trough's coming through. The trough is, is weakening, and it'll be out of here in a while. This is pretty much the only thing that would be able to take this into the East Coast, like we were talking about. There's only about a 10% chance for that now. The only thing that'd be able to do that is if this high right here strengthened and move it over a little bit, it would take Igor away and pull it into the United States. But that more than likely will not happen. As I said, there's a 10% chance. So Igor is going up into Bermuda. But. That's enough about Igor. Let's take a look at her, uh, Tropical Storm Carl. It has 40 mile an hour winds. As, as you can see, it almost looks like a hurricane off the coast of Bermuda. Or not, no, sorry. Off the coast of the Yucatan. About to just fall off. You can see the circulation there. It uh, will take a path towards Me Tampico, Mexico, more than likely. I'm so, I'm so amazed at how it stayed so well organized over land. It's just absolutely amazing. It uh, will come off, and more than likely will be a Category 1, if not Category 2 hurricane when it makes landfall. Let's look at the projected path for it. It will make landfall somewhere in this region south of Texas. It will not make landfall down at Texas. Can't rule it out, but I, don't, I do not think it will because that high pressure is in the way. Let's take a look at Julia. Julia is undergoing a lot of shear, as I have outlined by these arrows. So it, uh, as, it, as it generally moves in this direction, it's getting sheared apart. So it's not really able to do very much. It uh will take some time to get back together, get its act together if it wants to. Let's take a look at its track. It's just gonna go up and then go on straight out to sea. It'll stay a major hurricane for a while, but that high pressure is there, which is just sending it straight away. Um, it has 125 mile an hour winds at 4, 4 p.m. The winds probably are a little bit lower right now. Uh, the pressure's down 953 millibars. It's moving northwest at 17 miles per hour. It's rapidly get, getting out of here. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's take a look at the African coast. As you can see, that's Julia. Um, we're going to have to watch this wave here. I don't know if it'll develop. I mean, we're definitely going to have to watch this one here. This could be our next one. And anything else that comes off will more than likely make landfall in the United States. But yeah, I just wanted to do a quick touch-up. On the Atlantic, didn't get them get one out yesterday. It was really busy. We'll we'll get you out another one tomorrow. And that's it. Everyone have a good evening. We you know, our website firsthandweather.com, youtube.com/slash one weather nut. Please subscribe and everyone have a good evening.